and to kick us, really kick us off, uh, Duncan Kirkwood is uh, going to give us a little talk and, and get us a little pumped up to, to continue the night and have a good time and just party. So thank you for being here. All right, appreciate that drop, DJ. Mike, thank you so much. Can everybody hear me? Can I get like a wave happening if you can hear me? All right, hold up. Kurt, ma'am, you in there drinking. Drinking right now. Can you hear me? I didn't see a wave. Okay, here we go. All right, good. All right, so listen up. My name is Duncan Kirkwood. I am a global resilience advocate, which that means when I was in the military, I trained soldiers to be more resilient to overcome veteran suicide and depression. Now I've taken that training and I train professionals and young people to be resilient and overcome setbacks, all right? So Mike asked me to come speak and you know when Mike asks you something, you gotta come do it, right? So I'm gonna give you like a five minute, you know, shot of espresso and motivation. And then we're gonna party, we got the DJ, we're gonna get up and dance, all of that, right? But first I'm gonna like pontificate and talk some old resilience and metaphysical earthy stuff, all right? So my first question is, raise your hand if you're a business owner or entrepreneur. Raise your hand proudly like you're a business owner or entrepreneur. Raise your hand like you be putting in 50, 60 hours a week and ain't nobody liking your post on Facebook, business owner, entrepreneur. Okay, here we go. All right, so listen, you all are creatives. Oh, he still got his hand up. He said, man, you speaking to me. All right, all right. That's right. So listen, you all are creatives, entrepreneurs, innovators. It's not a lot I need to tell y'all about resilience, right? But I do want to talk to y'all about ego. Because don't nobody ever talk about ego. Now raise your hand if when you hear ego, you think of somebody that's narcissistic, cocky, overconfident. Be honest, if that's what you hear, when you, when you hear ego, you think of that person, right? That's not what ego means. They, they, they didn't teach us correctly in school. Ego is how you look at yourself in comparison to other selves. That's good, that's good. Right? So with that, I appreciate the cheering. I'm loving the energy. <laughs> when we get that grant, right? When our business starts doing good, we make a million dollars in sales, we feel like we're a better person. Can anybody relate, right? You bought something real expensive. I saw a couple BMWs outside. You felt real good when you bought that car, right? That's because you're tying your value as a person to external things. You know, when I was little, I would always ask, why do rich people commit suicide? Think about that. Because for me, growing up, I grew up in inner city, so I just thought if I could get $500,000 one day, I'd be the happiest person ever. If I ever thought, if I ever just, just sniffed a million, I mean, my whole family would be happy forever, right? But people who are millionaires are still suffering from depression, anxiety, right? They're still frustrated, they feel isolated. Why, how is that possible? It's because you can't get joy from external things. You get happiness because it's fleeting, right? You're happy right now, you're sad, right? you're sad an hour. You know what I mean? It goes, comes and goes. But joy comes from the inside. So it don't matter how many hours y'all work. It don't matter how much money you make or don't make. Your value as a person is not connected to external things. Some of y'all look on Facebook and you see your friend, they just bought the house, they got, they're married, two and a half kids, and you're like, I'm 51, why can't I find somebody? I'm missing my moment, right? Stop comparing yourself. Your value doesn't have anything to do with anybody else, any car, any status, any Facebook post. Just so you know, most stuff on social media is BS anyway, right? There's enough filters for everything. You can buy likes, okay? Right, but it's important that you all understand as business owners, who you are, your value isn't connected to the end of the journey. Wow. So when you put in that brother had his hand up for like 10 minutes right there, you put in that 50, 60 hours, it doesn't actually matter in your life journey if at the end of that 70 hours you made you hit your quota for this quarter. Right, for your life situation, it matters, right? We gotta pay the bills, right? We gotta have nice stuff, we like nice places. This is a beautiful place we have, right? But for who you are, it don't matter, because when you are on your deathbed in Buddhism, they say you gotta die before you die. When you are on your deathbed, nobody ever says, man, I wish I would've bought more shirts with somebody's name on it. <laughs> right, I wish I would've spent another 20 hours on social media building up the algorithm for my SEO, right? 
What you're gonna say is, I wish I would've spent more time with my family. Yeah. I wish I would've never gave up on my dreams, singing, acting, whatever that is. So one of the secrets to joy is to have that revelation while you're young enough to do something about it. And please trust and believe you are all young enough to do something about it. Yeah. Now listen, everybody wants to drink and party, so I'm not gonna stay up here. Y'all can book me if y'all need me to speak somewhere, duncankirkwood.com. But I just wanted to come say a couple words, wish you well on your uh, entrepreneurial journey, on your business, and make lots of money and buy a mansion. Okay, please. And then you call me and hire me for something, right? <laughs> but don't connect who you are to the car, to the mansion, to the PhD, to the masters, to the whatever, to the grid. Don't connect your value to stuff. Who you are is so much deeper and more powerful and is connected to God or the creator or the universe or whatever language you want to use. Right? Who you are is much more powerful and much more unique and special.